good afternoon and good evening and welcome to another short film from Stuart's London. Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Ravi Grewal. I'm the creative director here at Stuart's London. Today I want to be talking about denim. Probably one of my favourite subjects actually because I'm a bit of a denim geek when it comes to um, jeans. The three brands that we sell in salvage denim at Stuart's London is Nudie, Naked and Famous and Edwin. Uh, we've also added a new brand in this season called Oslo, which is from Japan. I'll talk about that right at the end because it's just, just come into the business. And you're probably wondering what a self-edged denim is or a, what a conventional denim is. If you don't know too much about it, I'm here to give you a brief explanation between the two qualities that you can are available on the market. One is slightly more superior. The latter isn't less superior, it's just slightly more cheaper to make um, and it won't last as long. Whereas the South Hedge denim will be steadier, it's stronger, uh, it's more expensive. Um, and that's the reason because it's, you can only make small quantities of it and it takes much, much longer to produce. So let's start with a conventional denim. Now conventional denim here, it's a brand usually, I mean, most brands use this. You can buy this commonly uh, in, in the high street. So we would look at that sort of finishing on the inside seam. Now this is an overlocking done over here. The overlocking is simply uh, tells you that it's conventional denim, probably comes about 300 meters on a roll. On the roll itself, once they make it, they cut uh, a denim approximately about, uh, it's about 1.5 to 2 meters per denim jean, 2.2 meters per denim jean. And, uh, and that's churned out in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of one roll, one 300 meter roll. On a salvage denim, you can only make 30 meters on a roll and it's usually finished on its own self edge, which is what we call salvage. It takes a colossal amount of time to make. It's, uh, it takes a highly skilled laborer, a craftsman is a word, a highly skilled craftsman to actually create a salvage jean. It's done on a single loom, whereas conventional jeans are made on loads of different needles and the machine is going left and right, left and right, and the jean is being woven and it's turning out huge amounts of uh, roll and uh, lengths of material. A salvage denim is done on a loom, single, single shuttle loom, that will just go one across this way, one scrunch that way. It would actually take a person to stand on that machine itself and push the loom to left and push it from left to right so that the, the actual fabric gets woven. Salvage denim is far more tightly woven. Being tightly woven, it makes it more sturdier, it makes it more stronger, it makes it more durable. And it's also the dyeing method on that type of this type of denim is done in a slightly more um, authentic way. One of the nicest characteristics is the way the fading happens on the denim jeans. Now the fading over time will kind of personalize itself to the way you wear the denim. Now we always say to people, do not wash your salvage denims for at least six months. Um, if you need to uh, clean them without washing them, then we suggest you can just hang them up in the hot sun outside. The sun will kill the bacteria. The other thing is to put them in a plastic bag and stick them in the freezer. That will also kill the bacteria. Uh, but we say don't wash them is so that the, the fading process of your jeans, when they do finally fade, it looks immaculate. So let's talk about the brands that we have at Stuart's London. So one being Edwin, I just mentioned, it's all uh, Japanese denim made in Japan. We also do uh, Naked and Famous. Naked and Famous is a Canadian label where they actually make all the denim in Japan, ship the denim over to Canada and then produce their own jeans. Now, that's a very expensive way to make a denim jean, but these are connoisseurs of denim. They, these, people who make salvage jeans, they don't cut corners. They don't make a compromise on quality. They don't make a compromise on uh, how much it's gonna cost to make those jeans. They are absolutely pinpoint perfectionists to make sure that their product is, is just the best of the best. There is a lot of bump on naked and famous jeans in, uh, on the internet. I would suggest checking the brand out. It is super cool 
um, Bazard has his own videos of Four Naked and Famous. So if you type in Naked and Famous Bazard, you'll be able to look on their YouTube channel and they literally go into depth on how each gene is made, what, how, what they put, what the thought process is, how cool that denim is and why it's made that particular way. Denim that is not salvaged doesn't mean it's not superior. There is something called, the way Nudie make, the Scandinavian label, they make an organic denim. They make, they make sure that their denim is not used with any chemicals, the, 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 fab, the, the cotton's completely organic, that make sure that they're more into the sustainability. They are distinctly recognized, if anyone's wearing them, with the gold stitching uh, on the, sorry, the, orange, the orange stitching here on the back pocket. Uh, however, not everybody likes the orange stitching, so they do always offer options with the navy blue stitch here as well, so it's a bit more subtle. So another brand that we introduced this season, uh, along with the big three that we sell, it's Oslo. They're a true pioneer of denim jeans. They've been around for quite some time and they're very popular in Japan at the moment. Well, we brought them to the UK because we are one of very few stockists that are allowed to sell their product. And that's pretty much it. I'm over and out for now. I hope you uh, liked the little brief intro on conventional denim and salvage denim and the differences between the two. One is just churned out in a bit more higher production and therefore it's more cheaper uh, to purchase and the self hash denim being, uh, takes a lot more time to process, takes a lot more time to make, and therefore that's why it's more expensive. But don't forget, you're actually buying an investment piece. It's a piece that you're gonna hold on to longer, and it's durable. Anyway, over and out for now, and until next week, bye-bye.